Today we're going to talk about identifying direct and inverse variation. Let's remember what we talked about last class. Is the following graph a direct variation? Yes, this is linear and it goes through the origin 0, 0. Is the following graph a direct variation? No, this is linear but it does not go through the origin 0, 0. Is the following graph a direct variation? No, this is not linear. Is the following a direct variation? Yes, this is linear and it goes through the origin 0, 0. Is the following a direct variation? Please take a moment and answer A, B, and C using the direct variation equation that I just posted. You're going to pause the video right now and work on A, B, and C, and then when you're done, you're going to resume. So, is, a, is this a direct variation? Yes, no matter which order pairs you pick, K is the same. Please answer A, B, and C. Pause this video first, and then when you're done answering the questions, press play again. Is this a direct variation? No, the constant of variation K is not the same for each ordered pair. So for the holiday vacation, I am traveling to Ohio. I'm going to travel 500 miles in the car. If Miss Hammond drives 10 miles per hour the entire trip, how long will it take to get there? So if it's 500 miles and I travel for 10 miles per hour, it is going to take me 50 hours. If Miss Hammond drives 25 miles per hour the entire trip, how long will it take to get there? 500 miles divided by 25 miles per hour means that it will take 20 hours. If Miss Hammond drives 40 miles per hour the entire trip, how long will it take to get there? 500 miles divided by 40 miles per hour will take 12 and a half hours. If Miss Hammond drives 50 miles per hour the entire trip, how long will it take to get there? 500 miles divided by 50 miles per hour will make 10 hour trip. How long will it take to do 60 miles per hour? 500 miles divided by 60 miles per hour would be 8.3 hours. If Miss Hammond drives 0 miles per hour the entire trip, how, will it, how long will it take to get there? This doesn't make sense to take 500 miles and divide it by 0 miles per hour. This is an example of undefined. So let's graph the order pairs from our table. Our first one is at 1050, so we're going to put that a little bit above the 48. Our next was 2520. Then we have 40, 12 and a half, 58 point, or 50 and 10, and then finally 60 and 8.3. And when we connect these points, we make a curve. This graph is an inverse variation. It is a curved graph. It does not go through 0, 0. The formula for inverse variation is y equals k over x. The variable k still represents something called the constant of variation. You're going to complete the rest of the packet, and when you are done, you're going to show me your answers.